We will be stitching the eight by eight welcome home pillow. We are going to go ahead into the embroidery and to our USB. I am currently sitting in front of the XJ1 and I have my no-show mesh hooped currently in a nine by 14 hoop. You can use the nine and a half by nine and a half or the 10 and a half by 10 and a half, but one of those larger square hoops would be the preferred hoop option here. We are doing the center block, which is the house. You can see very clearly here. So the house with the flowers is what we will be stitching first. We're gonna go ahead and set that to the screen and hit embroider. There is nothing that we need to do to prep for this. So the first piece that we'll be doing is that tack down. All right, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and stitch the placement line for our batting and background fabric. We are going to go ahead and place both the batting and our background fabric on top of that placement line. So you're going to place first the batting, of course, and then the second piece will be that background piece and we're going to do both and then we are going to go ahead and tack those in place. All right from here we're going to just to go ahead and do those basic applique pieces. So first we're going to do the house itself. Completely cover up that placement line. and then trim. Once we have the house piece trimmed, we're gonna go ahead and do the roof. There's our placement line. We're going to completely cover that with our red roof fabric and then go ahead and tack that down. Once we have that tacked down, we're gonna go ahead and trim that. Now that we have the roof trimmed, we're gonna go ahead and place that for the window. First place, of course, is the placement line. All right, completely cover that up and go ahead and tack down that. I do have a backing fabric on this white to make sure that it's um, as solid as possible so that I have a nice crisp window, not um, a little bit of a minty window as much as possible there. And of course, now I'm going to go ahead and trim that. The last piece of fabric placement is going to be for the door. Of course, now I need to trim that. I've been using white thread up until this point. Um, I do prefer white when I'm doing applique work for some reason, um, but I have just changed to the kind of mint green color, which is the same color as the house. That is ES903 in your thread kit. If you'd like to go ahead and thread with that, then we are going to do the um, two satin stitches on the sides of the house and the little chimney stitch. All right, now that we have that portion stitched, we're gonna go ahead and do the outline of the roof. Uh, I have placed in ES529. Thank you. 
we've gone ahead and re-threaded with white. We're gonna go ahead and do that decorative trim stitch on the window. The next stitch that we have is going to do the trim around the door and then that adorable little smoke puff that is in the shape of a heart right off that chimney. So I am going to thread the machine with black and then we will go ahead and do that. That will be the last piece. That is the decoration for the house itself. All right, we are now moving on to the flower piece decorations. Now we've got the leaves. There are two different colors of green. This is the darker of the two. And now the other green, which is color number 950. Now it's time to add the flowers. So I have what is called for burnt orange in your instructions. What we have as color ES527 in your thread chart. So we are going to stitch the flower here and a little flower over here. We are now going to stitch the yellow flowers, color called pollen in the instructions and color ES612 in your thread kit. They're going to be here, here, and then the large circular one here. The one at the top is going to be fringed when we are all done. If you are of the mind to, you could do this one here with a water soluble bobbin thread you will have to pay attention. It is not its own color stop, so you would want to pay attention to when that moves to that section. The instructions for this particular design do not have that being uh, stitched with that water-soluble thread, but that is an option when you are stitching fringe. Just throwing that in there for um, just a little bit of background knowledge on fringe. We'll talk about that a little bit more in the class itself. But again, the instructions that are given for this project are doing those just with the standard bobbin thread and trimming those bobbin stitches um, at the end of the stitch out. We're gonna go ahead and stitch those fo uh, the flowers, excuse me, now. The last of the flowers is going to stitch the darker red, which is the red that we used for the roof. That color is ES529 out of your thread kit. The last of the decorative stitches is going to be black through the centers of the flowers, just to add that little punch. All right, the last thing that's going to be stitched is a squaring stitch that is going to be the cut line when we get there. Do not remove this from the hoop or cut at this point in this project. 
This is going to be for later, but we have to stitch it at this time. You are going to leave the black thread in the machine. I repeat, do not remove the project from the hoop after this step and do not cut anything after this step. This is done for later, but must be done at this point in time. Again, we're leaving the black thread in the machine. So go ahead and lower, and it's again going to do a squaring stitch all the way around this design, which will show us where we need to cut later on. This is the completion of the decorative stitching. From here, we are going to stop and we will move forward um, during class and learn the portions of the design center and the IQ designer on how to fill in for the quilting and add in those decorative stitches. So again, leave everything in the hoop for class. This will be the first project that we work on. So you will literally um, leave everything right where it is. Please do not unhoop your project. Leave everything in the hoop exactly where it is at this point. We will see you on class day.